shit. My friend Cray's a hot mess. <laughs> Say hi, Cray. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, forget it. As she hacked, forget about it. Good day, people. Okay. We're getting ready for the show. Yes, beat the eyes, girl, beat my eyes. We're getting ready to record the show, and then I'm gonna edit the tea. That's, a, that's just what I'm talking about. And then I gotta hightail it to Manhattan and figure out where I'm meeting my extended family. This day is really busy. Say bye, Cray. Bye, See you Cray. later. You stupid. <laughs> okay, so I, I am. Want to be like him. <laughs> yes, because she does that too. <laughs> Um, all right, so we just dropped off Cray. Keith is being generous. She's saying bye again. Keith is being generous enough to take me to the city. Yep. Yeah. So I can go out and meet up with the peoples. So yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Keith. You're welcome. Okay, change of plans. So I get all the way up to the city. Keith and I start dropping me out here. I get a text from Judy and everybody. They're canceling because they were out all day. I'm a little mad that I didn't cancel recording with the tea to hand with them, but it is what it is. So me right now, me and Keith are at Boxers in Chelsea, and we're gonna hang out. So after some cocktails with Keith at Boxers, I am going to attempt to get some fried Oreos from Cafeteria. Cross your fingers and hope this works because it is definitely almost, it's almost 12 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock, it's almost midnight. So I'm hoping this freaking works. Okay. By the way, I'm a little tipsy, just a little bit. I'm not full out drunk though, just a little bit. Okay, we have made it inside but it's still 20 minutes to a half an hour away. How do you feel about that? Exactly. We need two tables. And not for nothing, like, we're at the bar area, but I don't want another drink. Like, I'm all drunk up. Like, I'm good with drinks. I just want to have a fried order and, like, bounce and go home. I'm not feeling good. Okay, so me and Keith have been talking, and I'm trying to figure out if I should just order the fried or is to go or should I wait the few minutes to the, the few extra minutes to sit down at the table now my whole reason for wanting to sit down at the table is because it comes with a, a mint chocolate chip milkshake and it's cold outside like it's like 30 something degrees right now in Manhattan and yeah I don't want to walk around with a freaking milkshake so yeah that's, that's that's what they're doing. Okay, so it was even a 20 minute wait. Like, we waited maybe like 15 minutes, if that much. But not for nothing. It's just me and Kate. And they got this whole shit like kind of romantic. Like, boo, what's the gender for? We are not on no one's kind of date. I am not, not with that. I'm thinking of blowing that shit out, but it's giving good lighting. It's giving good, good melon, you know, good lighting in my melon. And like, yeah. melon or fleek, bitch. Um, but we were thinking this damn um, fried Oreo together. I don't know why the guy sat us down and walked away. Bitch, I'm ready for this motherfucking um, fried Oreo. That's all I want. Are you ready for a fried Oreo, girl? I sure do. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oreo fried down. Okay, so it's finally arrived. The moment is here. The fried Oreo. Are you guys ready for this? Do you see that? In fact, let me do this. I'm gonna just take a picture and send it to you guys. Trust me, these fried Oreos are motherfucking life. Like, they will make you slap your mama. Like, for real, for real. Okay, first and foremost, it's cold as shit outside. Actually, it's so cold that it's starting to snow. But, even though my plans changed last minute, I still managed to have fun. Uh, Keith was a good sport about wanting to, you know, hang out with me and like, you know, go get like a cocktail or whatever. So that was that was fun. 
it's just something I gotta get used to. Like I know, like it's like before with my with my previous life, you know, before transplant, like I had to like everything had to be like planned and set up and whatever, and that was for that time that was okay. So I have to get used to basically, you know, the the unexpected, like the I don't know what even call it. But you guys kind of get what I'm saying, like, like, you know, the spontaneity. That's what I got to tell something spontaneous. I got used to that stuff. And, like, you know, it was cool. Like, you know, I got the text. Um, I didn't get mad. I didn't get angry or upset or anything like that. I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'm already out here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just make the best of it. So, like, well, what can I do? What can I do? And I was like, you know what? I said, I'm going to go to a bar and, like, hang out for a while. And he was like, oh, do you mind if I join you? I was like, yeah, sure, cool, no problem. Like, let's come, like, let's have a good time. And that's what we did. And pretty much that's what, that's what life is about. Or at least that's, that's what I'm finding life is about. Life is fun about, life is about finding and making changes and being spontaneous. And that's it. Um, so I'm gonna call it a night here. Uh, it's like two something in the morning, I think. Well, whatever time it is. And I want you guys to have a good night. And remember, be amazing. <laughs>